bag or something which isn't what you always want really now let's just see how far we get down here right. and that is the problem you know you've got lots of stuff overgrowing on the left and right hand side you try and move over to get away from it and the front tire just slips you back in you know there you go look. we're very cautious here oh look this is nice right, there we go just make sure I pass through this properly cut grass but I can see there's a rut right here that's masked by the grass there we go right Okay. So look where we are now. Okay, that should be a road We're close to here. Aha. All right. Onwards and upwards. Beautiful. It's 31 now, it's scorching hot here. Oh my god. Because it's so dry, everything's just you know turned to yellow really. I and mean, the farmers are, you know, for their harvesting, they're having a, they're having a glorious summer really. Not sure how well the crops have grown because it's been uh, that last bit of uh, water they might have needed hasn't stunted the crop's growth, but you know, probably been able to get ahead of their their tasks early instead of a mad rush for August they can space it out over July, June, July and August so it's uh, yeah, I'm sure it's a good time for them wow look at this what a road what a road amazing beautiful beautiful turn coming up here very short stretch on here as well uh, it's uh, so I'm in between Basingstoke and Newbury here oh, it's like Hampshire Berkshire borders I suppose in the UK if you've never been to this part of the world or I'm heading towards Upper Wootton and Wootton St Lawrence and stuff like that. Alright, if I'm going here. Now this is all byway down here, uh, but as you can see right now it's all it's all road. Um, so just, just keep it going. Sometimes you find this, you know, the byways are all tarmacked over. They've been adopted by, you know, councils as preferred routes or by farmers who've made them into, you know, good access routes for their farms and their fields, you know, which is great. So sometimes they're tight, sometimes they're just, you know, good you know, traffic, right? See, that can't be right because this is a byway. So that's wrong. You shouldn't have that there. That's wrong. 
So you now you've got the byway here. So, right, let me just have a look here. Yeah, okay. Right, here we go. Okay, this is where you're stuck in the ruts again here. Let me just uh, flip my riser up. Get a good view of what's going on here. Yeah, all good. Whoa. Yeah, so easy to lose your balance. It's, you know, in the wet, it's kind of, you think, oh yeah, it's uh, in the wet, that's when you really gotta watch it. But I'll tell you what, the dry, you gotta be really careful because you can hit just a hard spot, flips the, the front tire, and all it has to do is just flip it enough for you to lose your balance a little bit, and then that's it, you know, it's about holding the weight then of the bike, and it's, so it's not always, it's not always that easy, you know. Yeah, so, so again, that, off road, off road. Okay. Yeah, it's just got to make sure that uh, every time it comes, I'm backing up the uh, the camera with a with power as well, so I don't run out of battery. Uh, so any time it kind of you know switch off the engine, I just got to make sure that the the, the camera is still rolling and not uh, reset to just charging mode, which has happened to me on <laughs> a few occasions. I got to say. So you kind of can't lose old footage and you think, oh, I can't have to ride this again. Oh dear, what a shame. You know, but uh, anyway. Wow. Now I am going uphill here. A little bit. And it's, it's quite a bumpy one, this one, actually. I've got to say, the others were, although they were rutted, they were smooth. But this is lots and lots of divots in it. So the front tyres are constantly bouncing up and down. I've got a feeling this has been chewed up quite a bit by horses. And that's what's making the front tyre just want to, you know, bobble all the way over it, you know. As opposed to... You know, finding a smooth rut and just, you know, rolling through it. But anyway. Yeah. That's lovely, lovely countryside there. Wow. Rolling hills, you know, that's what, you know, kind of lots of... English English countryside is kind of predominantly made up of this kind of rolling countryside, really. Yeah, they're, they're the odd peaks and, you know, peaks and valleys and, you know, ridge lines here and there. But, you know, fundamentally, most of it is, you know, now if you want to get into the mountains, really, or, you know, lots of hilly or mountain stuff, you need to head towards the west, towards Wales, and then obviously to north, towards north of England. And, you know, sort of Cumbria, Lake District, that kind of thing. And then obviously into Scotland as well, when you get into the, the lowlands and the, and the highlands. Uh, which is, a, you know, an amazing place to, you know, be really. You ride your bike around there and it's just you know, awe-inspiring. Yeah. Right, I'll just make sure. Yeah, that front tire really does is trying to make me work today. Right, okay. So, I've got an option left or right, so I can go, I can go left. I think I have to double back on this one. I was tempted just to cut it out because literally uh, pretty much down to that farm building as you can see on the left hand side in the distance. Uh, but you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm actually, you know, if I say I'm going to ride it all, I'm going to ride it all. And that's the way, that's the way it should be. So, let's give it a go. 
have a look. I mean, it's all actually, this is nice. This is just, you know, farm track stuff. Oh, it's bone dry. I mean, fair play to it. Jesus. It really is dry here. So we kind of had it all really, so far. Yeah, ruts that you can't see, track that you can't see for overhanging branches, fallen trees that have blocked the way. Um, we had dry tracks, you know, had searing heat, had whoop, and uh, had, uh, oh, what else we had? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a test, I've got to say. Like, you know, just goes to show, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't, you know, and I just had to quickly adapt to that because I was kind of expecting more of this kind of thing, really, predominantly. I was expecting a little bit, but predominantly I was kind of... Okay, so this is where I came out before. That's fine, so yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay, that's where I turned up that one. Okay, that's where the fallen tree is, up to the right, where i just gone. So I go back up here, carry on with my roots now. Yeah, so it's a bit of a mishmash of everything really today, you know. Lovely. Wow. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, straight on here. This is nice. Oh, it's a bit up and down, eh? but it's not, you know, not so rutted really. So it's, uh, you know, very nice and rideable, this. Lovely. And it's cool. Supposedly. <laughs> I'm still so much showing 30 degrees on my bike here, but, you know, it's still relatively cool. Just mindful of a loose surface there as well. Just check my mapping. Wow. Beautiful. So there are certain sections that like you can come on here, you know, towards the, you know, you've got to find them really and uh, see, see, you know, the perfect rider by any bike really. So I would say if you're going to go on a byway, the byways that are kind of co-located with what look like farm tracks, you know, they're, they're on the OS maps, they are white, white tracks, white roads, if you like. Those are the ones that are most likely to be something like this. Not always, not always, but most likely. When the, the byway is literally just cutting across the field and all you can see is the, the lines and the plus signs cutting across the field, that's most likely to be those horrible, rutted, narrow, overgrown ones. That you know that are uh, are are tricky, you know. So you've got to be aware of those. Uh, but you know you can plan the routes. I mean, sometimes you just have to go go for it and and see how far you get and see what it's like, you know. Uh, and also, you know, as I'm finding a lot of these trails that they've kind of, they seem to have changed in the last few years as well. So right, so that goes there, that goes there, and there's another one here. To make sure this road is yeah this is definitely by way this is beautiful oh, look at it wow
there. I should have really got on top in that. I should have. There we go. There we go. Always cautious about, you know, going up these kind of tracks that look like farm tracks, because obviously you never know what's coming the opposite way. You know, people walking with, with the dogs, horses, bikes, of course. Come across quite a few bikes on blind bends, if you like. You know, coming the one opposite, totally opposite way. You know, you so you kind of have to still stick to, you know, um, you know, good riding practices as well, because you're never quite sure, you know, who's coming the opposite way. And you've got to be, you've got to be ready to stop, you know. You know, you know stop and avoid. Wow, this is a nice place to stop right there, look at that. Wow. Amazing. Oh, lots of roots going through the middle of the road there. Nothing quite beats you know right out in the countryside on a on a Sunday, does it? <laughs> uh, but you know, this, especially this kind of um, you know countryside. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, you know, summer's day, England. Oh. Amazing. Yeah, the country's going through a bit of a feel-good factor at the moment. Obviously, there's po lots of political tripe that's always going on, but you know. The, uh, lots of stuff that you don't even want to talk about here because, you know, it's just depressing the way people act. But, you know, I know football isn't everybody's cup of tea. But with the national team, you know, um, doing so well, they just got through to the semi-finals of the World Cup. You know, it's um, there's like a real good feel buzz, you know, about the place. You know, and I remember back in 1996 when they got through to the the semi-finals of the European Championships, you know, they eventually lost to... Um, uh, Germany in the semi-final, who actually eventually went on to win it. Uh, um, you know, th there was a real good feel factor then as well, and it's amazing what you know, sport, team sport, representing a country, national sport, can do uh, for a country. Because people kind of tend to, even if it's only for half an hour, an hour and a half, while they're watching the match, they tend to, you know, forget their worries for a little bit. You know, so I suppose in many ways, that's lots of parallels to riding bikes. You know, you, you find something that you really you know, grips your attention and it just, you know, you forget about your daily worries, just, you know, just even just for a little bit, you know, which is, you know, grand. Okay, making sure now. Um, that's not another bio, is it? No. Right, so we've got one here, come down here. Just making sure I'm on the right track and not off. Yeah, good. So I'm just at Ibworth now. So a few back roads to uh, to roll along. And that was a nice little trail there, just wasn't it? Brilliant. And that's the kind, you know, in truth, that's the kind of trail I love to ride. That's not rutted, that's, um, you know, rideable. And you can just, you know, I'm not saying get speed on, but you know, you can steer with confidence and you know, not constantly fighting your balance, you know, every two seconds. It's a much more pleasant ride. Obviously nowhere near as challenging, of course, uh, you know, I'll give you that. But you know, um, but, um, but it's not always about that, is it? You know, it's about just enjoying the ride and getting out there, you know. Just like this, you know, it's uh, on the back lanes. Rides I've never, uh, well, if I've been on these, I certainly can't remember them. And, uh, you know, it's a challenge, that's for sure. Right, 
I just, I just wondered that there might be another trail here, is there? No, there isn't. That's just a recess. I thought that was another trail there that I was doing. Oh no, sorry, it's a bride away. That's what it was. I thought it was. Right, okay, keep it going. You know, I just can't help myself. Every time I'm riding along, I'm seeing other trails and I'm thinking, oh, are they rideable, first of all? Are you allowed to ride them? Second of all, you think, oh, maybe they take a little detour, you know. But anyway. Um, I think, pretty much straight up. This is where... Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good stuff. Wow, I mean, look at this. Today, beautiful. There are some property entrances on the right hand side. Yeah. But uh, this is nice. be a bride away crossing here any minute it's gone the back brake. Yeah, I have a feeling there was something. Yeah, bride. oh footpath it is not bride away. Oh no, bride away left footpath. Right, so this is okay so this is on the byway again now. Wow, look at this beautiful trail. Oh, amazing, amazing. Wow, 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 wow. You know, sometimes you've got to hold your hand out and say, wow, I'm truly blessed. Truly blessed to, you know, to be able to you know, experience this. Oh look, little, little baby mark jack up ahead. Baby deer. Ah. Now, there's a mother, there's going to be a, a, a little one, there's going to be a, an adult not far behind. I don't want one of those jumping out in front of me and clobbering me. Wow, look at this. What is it? See, see, sometimes, as I say, you get byways that are like this, and they are just beautiful to ride on, you know. They're just wide tracks there. You know, it's compacted. It's not, uh, not severely rutted anyway. Uh, maybe so in the winter a little bit more. Yeah, it's loose on the on the surface, so you've got to watch that. But you know, on the whole, it's just you know, it's just cracking to ride. Oh, well, amazing! What, a, what an amazing stretch this is. So this is the one near Ibworth, just down the road from Ibworth. White Line, Ash Warren House. You know this one. Check on your uh, check on your uh, ordnance survey maps if you head down this way uh, to the west of ba uh, west of um, Basingstoke. Right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so oh, this is just coming out. Okay, a little bit more than so this is the, the centre bit. Yeah. Yeah, the front wheel wants to bobble away a bit there, doesn't it? Right, let me just. Pull those revs down a little bit because they are. They are trying to pull me down the hill quite a lot. And, uh, do you know what? Let's go in this left track here. 
and then go to the middle of the trap. Amazing. So dry. You know, and you keep on going on about the weather. I mean, we Brits, you know, we do love, do love the weather. You know, talk about the weather, but the reason is that it's, um, it's such a topic of discussion because it changes from one day to the next. You know, throughout the year, you can never really quite bank on it. So for us to have this prolonged weather of really hot, dry weather. It's, you know, it, this hasn't happened in 40 or 50 years, you know, and I can barely remember 1976 when we had, you know, really prolonged dry weather spell, you know, it just, it just doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Yeah, the front tyre is kind of stuck in that. I'm going to try and... See if it will take me off on the outside here a little bit. No. There we go. So let's just go here. Just be mindful of getting snagged with my right peg there in something. But at least the camera's getting a getting a good view of whatever it is. Just keep my foot in as well on the inside of the, the brake lever, brake pedal, as you say. Okay. Good, good. Oh, okay, here. Yeah. Next bit then, ne onwards and upwards. Uh, so this turn left down here. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful round here, absolutely lovely. And really are in Sleepy Hollow, right in the middle of nowhere. And big houses, big properties, you know, farm properties and stuff like that. I think maybe it's, everybody's got a hangover today because there's nobody on the roads, I'm really surprised. You know, I really am surprised. I thought there'd be lots of people on the roads, you know. Uh, so just gonna go through a bit of a cutting here. It's gonna be tree lined either side. Beautiful ride this is, amazing. There's a junction coming up soon. To get down. This one here, I think it looks like anyway. Yeah. So heading into an area of Dean. Wow. 